my name is Nick. I'm one of the registered veterinary technicians here at Mendocino Animal Hospital. And my name is Charlotte Burns. I'm one of the veterinarians here. Excellent. We've uh, been getting a lot of uh, questions from our clients about something that's been going on in the news, and that's uh, the canine flu. And so we thought we'd take a minute and ask Dr. Burns uh, four of the common questions we've been getting from our clients. Mm -hmm. So you ready for those? I am. Okay. The first question is, what is canine flu? Yep. Canine flu is a virus. Um, it does cause respiratory issues. We've seen it twice now in California. The first outbreak was a few years ago in the San Diego area, and currently in what's in the news now that you're hearing about is an outbreak in the San Jose area. Um, as far as we know, about 60 dogs have been affected with this virus. Okay, okay. Um, the big question we've been getting is, how is the virus transmitted? And are any of the canine patients in Lake or Mendocino County in any immediate danger? At the time of this uh, re recording, there, <laughs> there have been no cases of canine flu in Mendocino or any of the surrounding counties. Um, however, it is transmitted with direct contact with affected dogs, or if even a human touches an affected dog, you can bring it to your dog at home. So the dogs at risk are dogs that are traveling, especially down into the Bay Area. Um, if they're going to dog shows, dog parks, grooming parlors, anywhere where there's a lot of dog contact, okay. those dogs are at risk. Okay. Um, and the other question we get a lot, of, a lot of the time on the phones is, what are the symptoms that clients should be looking out for? Unfortunately, the symptoms are pretty similar to many other issues. Um, coughing, sneezing, fever, lethargy, not really interested in eating, um, eye discharge. Um, the catch with this that is different is that the clinical signs can progress rapidly, getting worse rapidly within 24 to 48 hours of developing. The other catch is that this um, disease has a short incubation period of about two to four days. So if within two to four days, if you've been in a public area with other dogs and your dog becomes sick, it's something to take note of. Excellent. That's great advice. Okay. And then the last question is, what can we do to protect our canines? So what we can offer you to protect your own dog from this is there is a vaccine for it that has just been developed. It's a two-shot booster, so you come in, you get one vaccine, get that boosted about three weeks later, and that will protect your dog from the flu that, um, that's going around currently. It is like any flu vaccine. They can still get the flu. They might still get the symptoms, but they won't be as bad, and so they will have a much better uh, outcome overall. Good, good. And one last bonus question. Can we get this flu? Oh. Luckily, we cannot. Oh, so. okay. All right. Well, that, yeah. that certainly, hopefully, that puts well. everyone's mind at ease. And we do actually have the vaccine here. So, you know, if you are, if you fit into those risk categories, give us a call. Traveling. And, uh, yeah, we can take care of that. Sounds good. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Bye.